Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 Full Release, Episode 70. Okay, so we're probably just going to go straight to camp and have a look at our equipment again. I also need to check Minthara's reactions and stuff like that and maybe switch people out. So let's just go to camp. Yeah, okay, so we are going to a morgue, which means I'd really rather have Shadow Heart with me. Just so that I can try and get her to Spirit Guardians away a lot of people. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she won't lose her Spirit Guardians really quickly. But you never know. You never know. Okay, well, let's have a look in the Traveler's Chest for armor and things like that. Okay, so I've given Minthara some chainmail plus one, which it only put her armor class up by one because it doesn't allow a bonus from dexterity, so... But it's still, it's still a one, and she is still armor class 20 now. It might look horrendous, but I'm sure... I'm sure it'll clean up. <laughs> I'm sure it'll clean up. Okay. What was it that she... I can't remember what die it was, but we can easily Coming die that. Now. Okay. Not bad. Certainly looks a lot redder than the, <laughs> than the last armor. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with that. I am good with that. So, let's level her up. Okay, she has a new feat available. I've also been told not to bother with her searing smite, so I'm not going to. Let's give a compelled duel. Yeah. It might at least draw someone across a room towards her. And that might be invaluable at some point, you never know. Yeah, let's give a heavy armor master. Increases her strength by one and decreases by three damage from non-magical attacks. Probably a bit late in the day to do this since most of my enemies are getting stronger and we'll probably be using magical attacks, but we're also going to go into a morgue and I'm thinking that we're probably going to be attacked by skeletons or zombies or whatever. And hopefully they won't have magical attacks. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah. We'll just go with that one. Yeah, okay, new feat for you too. Okay, so for the RP, I think I'm going to go actor. Just because she's starting to get a little bit better at figuring out the people around her. She's learning the buzzwords for the uh, absolute fiends. <laughs> so yeah, she should be able to deceive them a little bit better. So we'll give her actor. <sighs> Proficiency doubled for her uh, deception. It's amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Good for you, Kellia. <sighs> Alright, so. Expanded. He's gaining another spell. Let's give him Misty Step, because I am fine with him zipping around the battlefield. And we don't need to replace a spell. Okay, feet. Okay, I am really thinking Savage Attacker here. That would just be absolutely amazing for him. But also, I mean, is Kazador a mage? Because I could have him do Mage Slayer as sort of a, a roleplay choice. Yeah, kind of set his sights on it and that's what he's going for but I don't know if he's a mage <laughs> I don't know if he's a mage so Ugh. I mean it'd still be useful anyway it would still be useful anyway 
Oh, I wish I could choose it. I wish I could choose it, but I don't know that that's what it is. So if he turns out not to be a mage, that's a bad RP choice. Sure, let's just give him Savage Attacker. It's not going to be too broken, unless I run him in all the time, which I might do since I've given him Misty Step. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Okay, Gale. Alright, what do you have? Two extra spells. We'll just do those because they both do exactly, well, basically the same thing. They take whoever you're pointing at or sticking in a, a sphere out of the game for a certain amount of turns. Yeah, two and two or three turns. So hopefully I'll be able to use these in like boss fights just to get the boss out of the way so I can kill all the rest. But we'll see. Let's do banishment. Yeah. Okay, feet. What do you need? Let's give him elemental adept and uh, cold because he has all those bonuses to cold. Yeah, I think that'll just be a lot better for him. Okay. I considered lucky, but I thought that would give him way too many rolls. <laughs> way too many rolls. Um, I guess we can't level up the others until we actually have them in our party and they've technically been given the uh, experience. Blood. So, no, never mind. I definitely, definitely, definitely want Shadowheart to come with me. So who do I get rid of? Let's take a chance and remove Gale. Minthar is something of a closed book, oh. but I suspect a heart of gold lurks beneath that stern countenance. Once she gets to know me, I'm sure she'll open up. She's just waiting for someone ready to listen. <laughs> yeah. She just needs someone who understands her. <laughs> I need you to wait in camp, Gil. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Don't wander away. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. You better be. You better be. If you run away, <laughs> if you run away, Another I will be so forward. angry. I will be so angry with you. Okay, Shadowheart. It doesn't seem long ago that Mintharu would have sought to kill us, and now we've welcomed her along. We're nothing if not magnanimous. Yeah. Shadowheart, you just don't seem to understand the value. <laughs> I need you to come with me, Shadowheart. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Indeed. Okay, and yes, we can level her up. I'm ready. Whatever it awesome. Takes. See what we can do. Okay, prepare spells. Let's just try Guardian of Faith. I want to see what happens with it. Alright, and you need Warcaster. Advantage on concentration. <laughs> she needs it. She needs it. Okay. Good, good. Well, let's a long road ahead. chat with the star and then see if he has anything Always to say about Minthara. I, I want to be clear. Letting Minthara tag along with us was your idea. So if you wake up with a dagger to your throat, that's on you. Already happened. <laughs> she did that before we left for Moonrise Towers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very, very hostile. Okay. Better dagger at my throat than fangs. I know what I'm doing. Or jealous you're no longer the least trustworthy person in our camp. I mean, he's not the least trustworthy person in uh, Kelly's estimation. Gail is. Gail is on suicide watch right now. Uh, I know what I'm doing just seems like it's the least hostile option. <laughs> You're a bit late there. I've happened after the goblin party. 
Don't worry. I know what I'm doing here. I hope so. Otherwise, we may all be killed in our beds. <laughs> okay. Honestly. I need to find a way forward. Don't you worry, hon. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Lizelle. The drow is unpredictable, uncompromising. I respect her almost as much as I distrust her. Well, yeah. She was one of the leaders of the opposition. <laughs> okay. Let's in fact let's see if Minthara herself has anything to say. You wish to consult me? Yeah, no. Okay. Never you mind, it's fine. Alright, so Minthara is almost out of At spell slots. She yeah, she only has one level one spell slot. Uh, let's have a look at her reactions then. Where are they? No, that's Elithid Powers. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Where is it? Here, reactions. Okay, she'll ask for everything. <laughs> she'll just ask for it all. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got Shadow Hat with me again, so I don't technically need the Guidance Cantrip, but if she's giving me advantage, then it would be useful to have it. You no longer have potions. Okay. I'm going to have to take them from Gale. Yep. We can have that as well. And the glorious vaulting, just in case. Okay, Shadow Heart is the one who's most likely to heal. So she should definitely keep that one. Okay, we'll give Minthara the Ring of Free Action. Yeah. Alright. And Shadow Heart should have all of her spell slots. So it's really only Minthara that's going to be missing out. Let's rest. We might as well. I want to see if anything more is going to happen with Gale or anyone else. Maybe I've got some backlog or something. <laughs> okay. Ah, Astarian wants to talk. Be okay. Oh, just Astarian? Just Astarian? Looks like. Okay. Let's talk to him then. The way she leered at me. The blood merchant. <laughs> yes, we can talk about I can't get it out of my head. It isn't like me. Not like me at all. I was being too... precious, wasn't I? We could have used her potion. We could have used A moment potion. of unpleasantry doesn't matter if there's a fine reward. I should have just gritted my teeth as always and let her have me for a bit. Um, no. <laughs> no. Damn. Um. Oh my god. As always, and let her have me for a bit. Okay, Leo, you're being tested now. You are being tested now, ordinarily. If she didn't really care about the person she was talking to. If this wasn't a Starion, basically. <laughs> If this wasn't BFF, she'd probably just be a bit confused why they're uh, making such a big deal out of something and, well, talking to her about it because she wouldn't care. But by this point, she would have taken whatever she'd wanted and left anyway. She doesn't usually have prolonged contact with these people, the people that she's using. She's actually having to care about these people now. Hmm... Number two, I just like the way that it's worded. It makes me sad to hear you talk about yourself like that. As if she's not quite sure why it makes her sad. But it does. I like the way it's worded. It's probably not going to end up being that, but... 
I also kind of want to know why she upset him. Hmm. Okay. I'm a little bit worried that if I ask number one, I won't get to ask number two. But it is the only one that's a question. And I'm hoping... I hope it'll come back around to these three options, so... Yeah, I'll ask him why first. Precious. No, I don't think so. She was just really creepy. Is that what upset you about her as well? There's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire, is there? <laughs> How many been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you. But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back for breadcrumbs again. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. You have more than your looks going for you. Yes, you do. I'm too pretty as a sore complaint. Come on. Let's not go for that. Uh. I'm not sure if I even want to ask that one. Have you even enjoyed having sex in the last decades? It doesn't really sound like much of a choice, does it? For breadcrumbs. Ugh. Anyone else? If she hadn't built up this... And it does go both ways. It does go both ways and she's finding that out now. She's not just making them trust her, she's learning to trust them as well. And yeah, she kind of does trust Astarian, which means she cares. She might not like caring, but she does. Okay, one or three then. One or three. He definitely has more than his looks going for him. He's an absolute killer. He's my best party member. He opens all my locks, <laughs> finds all my traps, probably does the most damage, or he did until Minthara walked along with her uh, critical hit divine smites, my gosh. Ah, uh, You know what, I think she'd probably be a little bit weirded out at this point, so... <laughs> Not so much the subject, but how she's reacting herself to what she's being told, so... I don't think she would go for the uh, reassuring him in that way, at least not right now. I think she'd try to deflect to, um, you know, the act itself. Well, don't you at least enjoy it, you know, kind of thing. This isn't a moment that we're trying to take advantage of. Yeah, let's try and avoid the touchy-feely stuff and we'll go for number three. I guess you can't have been enjoying the sex if you've been forced to have it in the last few decades. Enjoyment? <laughs> that didn't come into it. I never had a choice. Oh, I have bedded thousands of people. Half of them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. It should have been so easy to let the drow use me for her fantasy, but perhaps... Uh, you showed me I have enough strength. I don't need to. Very true. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. I'd like to say he's not a slave now that he's free, but he really isn't. And I don't want him to come back with... Except I'm not, because I'm still under the thrall of... My master, the tadpole is the only thing stopping it, kind of thing, you know? Uh, number two. Yeah, I would never ask you to. In any sense of the word, Astarian. <laughs> this is not what Kelly is about. Number four is terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. You should see it as a strength, not a weakness. It's, it's power of people. If this had come up really early on in the adventure, she would have gone with number four, no question. 
because it would have allowed her to use him more effectively if he thought he was stronger for it. <laughs> stronger for being used. But this isn't the beginning of the adventure. She's gotten to know him. He's the one person out of everyone that she actually likes and connects with. And I mean, don't get me wrong, she likes some of the other people. Shadowheart mainly. Starion's been right there with her the entire time. We've not had any major conflicts. They synergize so well. I just don't think... I don't think she can say number four. No, we're gonna go number two. No, no you don't. And I would never ask you to either. It isn't worth the scars anymore. Yeah, oh. Oh, <laughs> break my heart. Break my heart, Starion. Okay, it's absolutely not worth the scars anymore. Oh my god. Well, oh, I wish I could see what that conversation was and read it back, but... <sighs> yeah. I feel so terrible for him. Did we read this book? I can't remember. Maybe. We definitely read Halcyon's journal. Serpent venom toxin. Okay, serpent fang toxin. Brilliant. Lovely. <laughs> ah, we're not actually sending them to Shadowheart. Who are we sending them to then? Probably Gale? Are we sending them to Gale? Let's send them to Gale. We can't. Okay. Uh, send to camp then. So. Let's talk First with Gail. Go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, nothing from Gail. Okay, we'll go back to Astari and see if there's anything. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Shadowheart. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Nope, I think we're good. Okay. Lazel. We need to get Lazel leveled up at some point as well. Greetings. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you wish to consult me? Nope. Okay, we're good. Well then. That was very Shadowheart esque. <laughs> the shirt the shirt that she's wearing, very Shadowheart esque. Okay. Well, let's let's rest then. Okay. Hopefully Gail doesn't run away. Nope, he's still here. That's good. Oh, now Lazel wants to talk to me. Okay, so, oh, maybe more than one person. Scratch as well. Okay, well, let's talk to Lazel first, assuming that she doesn't want to chat as well. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Must have had quite a few queued up then. It Gosh. is as we knew. My people have turned their blades against us. They will emerge from the shadows and descend from the skies, and we will grant them their only just fate. Death. Wow. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, Lazelle. Don't you worry. That is definitely going to happen. Every single time. Okay. Scratch. The dog wags his tail. A ah, small okay. bag clenched between his teeth. Um. Oh, okay. I could try snatch it away. Let's try animal handling. It's it's got to be quite low, surely, since you can usually just talk to him and ask him what it is. 
10. Okay. Well, let's get some guidance from Shadow Heart and hopefully we'll rub well. Ah, okay, we lost guidance there. So Shadow Heart must be messed up by someone. Oh dear. Oh dear. But it's still a success. He Aww. gives in and surrenders his find to you. Salami. Oh, let's pet him. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Good. Okay. I probably could have let him keep that one. <laughs> I likely could have let him keep it. Okay, anyone say anything about the Gith Yankee then? Oh. May the darkness protect you. And she's now giving me guidance that I got close to her. Okay. Thank you. A little bit worrying. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm listening. Yep, no, we're good. Okay. What can I do for you, my friend? Yep. We're good. Okay. Well then, let's get out of here. Let's just go. Okay. Shadow Heart not happy. Shadow Heart is not happy. I wonder why. It looks like she's uh, suffering from the shadow curse but she isn't so where exactly has she popped out then if she doesn't actually think she's she's here let's i mean let's just save and we'll uh, re reload real quick and find out let's hope she isn't across the map though <laughs> that would be kind of annoying oh no okay she stopped and we've lost the guidance okay before anything else, let's just see if she can actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has guidance, so... Let's I guess we move. don't need to then. Alright. The she is following as well. So it was just a momentary... A momentary lapse then. Okay. Well then, in that case, we'll just go in. Why not? We will just go in. Seems simple enough. Let's get into that morgue. She is with us. Oh, backpacks, notice. A lot of corpses. Skeletons, charred corpse. Wow. Oh, brazier. Ah, typical. Okay. But we're trying and that's the main thing. <laughs> Wooden caskets. Well, let's try them all. Anything going to come out of these? What's hiding here? Yeah, what is hiding here? Is that a door? Yes, that is a door we can open, so... A candle, okay. Nothing in there. Alright. Standing torch, I don't suppose. No, and the fire is on the bottom for whatever reason, okay. Alright, well, let's get up here. Uh. That's curious. Let's... Ah, okay, right in front of me. There is a button. Let's... Mm, let's avoid that for now and let's have a look at all the loot. Okay, and notice. A reminder, sisters, do not forget that patients passing through these hallowed halls must need 
must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewellery, timepieces and extraneous gold mounts. These burdens can, safe, can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall that they not confuse matters between ourselves and Catherick's justiciers. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings if possible. Really? Okay. So they were stealing and trying to hide it from the justiciers? Yeah. More for me. Pick up those towels and press the button then. Ah. Uh, charred corpses. Okay. Huh. Let's go slowly. Okay. Okay, let's just check this area over here. Furzu's Ring of Trading. Deception plus one. Hey, okay. Gosh, Kellia's deception is going to be incredible. Okay, so this chest. It's not locked. It's not locked. Strange Tendril Amulet. Evad's Black Tentacles. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's a wares, definitely. Alright, and let's get rid of all of this stuff. Let's... Who's Can we next? give that to Min Minthara? Yeah, just so she has something. She has no something will cool. Ever believe this. Okay. So does my feet can carry me. Well, that was nice. Old weapons. Nothing else. Okay. So. Well, we might as well come over here. Look at all of this. I'm guessing that's all all armor. Yeah, okay. And let's ooh, grab the booze. Is the booze all we can get? Yeah, okay. Let's and just a, a burlap sack over here. With nothing in it, okay. Yep. Well then. Only one more place to go. Let's check this out. Okay, oh god. Ah, uh, okay, that is twitching. And it's apparently a fighter- oh, it's a zombie, okay. It's a full-on zombie. Okay, so what else is in here then? That can't be the only one. Nope, oh gosh, there's one right there. Okay. And another right there, greater zombie. Cold resistance. Ugh. Okay, necrotic resistance and poison immunity. Well then. Shouldn't be a problem still. 74 hit points though. Poison cloud? Okay. And it looks like there's a door all the way at the other end. And more poison clouds up here. Okay, well, let's... Step- oh my gosh, I am actually in line of sight for something. That zombie's that zombie's sightline is amazing. But we might as well. Oh no, we've been seen. Okay, well, never mind. A clearly lit area. Well, I mean, come on. 
Turn the brazier on if we can. <laughs> no. Okay. Very well. About over here. Is that a poison cloud? That is a poison cloud. Oh, stained towel. Okay. Well. I guess we should probably do something about that. Go for it. Alright, there we go. So, what do we have? One, two greater zombies, no, three. Three greater zombies and three regular zombies. Okay. Yep. Nice. We are not going to come close to them. We're going to stay over here. Shadow Hearts will come into the middle of us and I think she'll probably do a regular Spirit Guardians and just wait for them to reach us, really. And then hopefully get taken out by that. Spirit Guardians on yourself. Yep. Survival is all that matters. Kelly, I can move back a little. Go for the throat. Astarian. Might as well try and whittle it down a bit. Yep. And what's me, Thara? <laughs> we don't want to unleash you, not just yet. And... Let's give it to Astarian. Have some soul branding, hun. A miss. Okay. And again. Yeah, alright. It might not be enough to kill it once it gets into Spirit Guardians, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. Sometimes the only way out is... Yeah. Absolutely dash towards me. Why not? Oh, very clever. <laughs> oh. Nice. One of them did kill itself. Nice, okay. Shadow Heart should be able to move closer by like one. Yeah, and get rid of it, okay. We just need to whittle them down, that's all. And then they should kill themselves when they get to us. Let's try. This arcane ammunition thing. And let's go for the greater. Okay, okay. Does it do it all the time then? Yes. Let's go for that one. Okay. Nice. In that case, let's hunt us like that one. Why not? A miss. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, you might as well try your radiant damage on it then. Damn it, it saved. Okay, well, never mind. Let's end turn and wait for them to reach me. <laughs> Saved against spirit guardians, that's annoying. Oh, just, just not enough. And that one's saved. Wow, they are saving very well. Saving throw successful though. Good. Good. <laughs> 
Very nice shadow heart. Hit that one. No, she doesn't need poison. There we go. Very nice. All right. So, can't even catch my breath. You should be able to get this. You should definitely be able to get this. Very nice. Okay. Um try for that one. Oh, damn it. That was the lantern. I keep forgetting about the lantern. Try and slap that one. Very nice. Try a divine smite. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a lot, but it was something. <laughs> and it was pretty good. So. Uh, soul branding. Well, Kelly, why not? Please get this one. Oh, a miss. Damn. Okay. Offhand him, please. Wow! Okay, this guy. <laughs> this one is really, really dodgy. Well, never mind then. Never you mind. I am half tempted to just make her run back so that she'd come forwards again, but no, I think we're good. It's just a couple of greater zombies. We should be fine. Um. Opportunity spell for shocking grasp. That might be interesting. Do that one. Why not? Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Kelly has succeeded her concentration. Yeah, try it. Why not? Why not? A miss. Okay, I probably should have done the regular opportunity attack for her. Probably. <laughs> okay. Kellia. That is a lot of poison. That is a lot of poison. Okay. Go for that one. A miss? Dear lord. Probably because the light went out. Let's turn someone inside out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go for this one. Oh, he's poisoned. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's try and flourish it as well. So it is at least off balance. Can you... Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's only got 16 hit points left. Try the Divine Smite again. Why not? Yeah, okay. It just fell dead. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yeah, but the poison cloud is pretty nasty. And I'm guessing it's from the zombies since it's kind of filled up. This chamber is absolutely filled up. Unless there's something else. Maybe there's a lever at the other side. Maybe. Don't see one. Uh, okay, there's probably just grates. It's probably just coming up from the grates. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, Spirit Guardians is done now. Who... Someone is resistant to poison, aren't they? You need my expertise. Looking ahead. No. <laughs> no, but we do have an elixir of poison resistance. Okay. Drink that. Let's get into turn based. And you can give him some guidance. Someone there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Watch your back. Oh, in fact, check these zombies. 
Four gold and a bone, okay. Just in case they have a key or something on them. Okay. Well, we can see the vent at least. We can see the vent. The taste. How delicious. So, Asterion. Disarm that, please. Yeah, okay. He should be fine. Nice, okay. Lovely. Okay, that's one. Is there another one around? Over here? There is a poison cloud there, but... Ah, there it is. Okay. But you won't be able to do anything to it until next. Yeah. Oh, and he's shadow cursed. God damn it. Still alive. So that's progress. Okay, go down there with Hook. Everybody's going to have to follow. <laughs> we will just follow behind him. Okay. Trust no one. Ah, okay. Damn it. We walked too close into the cloud. You two are poisoned. It's fine. You're fine. Keep a blade close. Disarm that, please. Uh, you already have guidance, so you're fine. Yep, okay. Very nice. Damn. Okay. And yeah, we're not even going to bother with uh, checking for loot just yet. I want to find all of these grits. Well, hello. The dust has been disturbed here. Someone's been using this door. Really? That one? Or is the one around here? One of these. One of these has been used. Okay. Disarm that, please. Okay. He only needs a three. Nice, consistently high rolls. This is good. I'm happy about that. Very happy. Nice one. Okay, so some of these doors are still being used. Disarm that, please. Yep, all good. Cool. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Where did that vent go? Oh, there it is. Disarm. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Sweet. So, there is gas up here though as well. Are we... is that gonna have its own vent up there or what? Morg lab door. Okay. Well, we'll get there. I want to check around everything else first. I think that is all of the vents that I can see anyway. Okay. You can exit turn based. Can't give up now. Yeah. And let's come back to the front. Oh. There is a lever right there. 
which might be for the metal door. Nothing in charred corpse, which makes sense because they've taken all of their belongings before they entered this area. Okay, we have a greenish light coming through the wall, though. Oh, that's the door, isn't it? Okay. Severed pelvis. Okay. Of course it'll fit in your pack. Of course it will, hun. I believe in you. Okay. Just, just in case, <laughs> just in case that does turn the traps on. Uh, I would rather have that one vent covered. Let's get up here. And see what we can see. Is there a grate of some sort? Not that I can see. I really can't see one. Starion, you've still got poison resistance on, don't you? Over here. Really? Move, idiot. What's Moldering here? coffin? Where is that? That, was, that wasn't even up here. That wasn't even up here. Okay, but there was nothing in there. <sighs> nothing at all. Ah, the shadow curse. Whoops. Is it turn based, guys? Come on. Yep, yeah, don't be silly. Okay, let's check that coffin now. Keep forgetting about that damned curse. Okay. That should be everything. So we have a couple of doors to choose from. One there. One over here that actually has a release lever, maybe. And Morg Lab all the way up here. I think. I think I'll probably stick with this one. At least right now, because it doesn't have any locks on it or anything. Might as well see where it goes. Dead Harper. Okay. How dead? <laughs> dead, dead. Okay, dead, dead. All right. All's well that ends. Let's as as could have. hide. And just check around. See if this thing is going to get up or not. Olam's journal, research notes, and dead harper. Not seeing anything, but then what did he die of and why is he dead? There is a locked heavy chest. Rosewood casket, let's look in there. Nothing. Okay. And that one? Nothing. Okay. Just walk over the corpse. That'd be fine. <laughs> okay. Dead Harper then. What do you have? Necrotic Laboratory Spare Key. Okay. A Malachite. A Garnet Ring and four gold. Always nice to have a spare key. Okay. Um, grab that hammer. And let's read the research notes. Remove shadow curse spell. And spell casting gestures are traced beneath. Wow. Okay. Pick it up, definitely. 
Is that something I should have looked at with uh, a spell caster? I might have to have um, Gale have a look at it. Maybe it will be something he can copy into his spell book. Okay, Olam's journal. Let's read that. Okay. So they, they actually killed him. He withered. Call on a carving anymore. Oh, that shadow heart is inspired. Okay, good for you, shadow heart. Good for you. I guess she was inspired from the terrible fate of everybody here. <laughs> how how effective the shadow curse works? Oh Something like that. Okay, well, let's try and open this trunk then, uh, assuming that it isn't trapped. This is locked. Okay. Keep your blade close. Lock pick that, please. So that Harper was there since the day Catherick fell. How long has he been dead then? How long has he been dead? Maybe we'll be able to ask. We can uh, speak with Dead, maybe, and see if he'll say anything. Or she. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay. Sweet. Bided time. Time thoroughly bided. <laughs> the wearer gains arcane charge whenever they're hit by a melee attack. Um. Okay. It's not that. <laughs> it's not that great. That is not that great. And at this point I in the game it. as well, it's kind of a rubbish robe to get. Thanks, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right, Astarian. Let's see. Corpse too damaged. Damaged by what? It wasn't me. <laughs> Are you going to tell me that it's too decayed? Is that it? Well, never mind then. Okay. So the Shadow Kiss was actually really fast acting. Really fast acting. But this Harper was protected by their armor. I assume they must have had something special on there. I don't think we picked up any special armor though, did we? Other than the bided time, but that was in a chest, so. I mean, unless he took it off. <laughs> unless he took it off so he could die. I don't I don't think there was anything. No. Oh well, that, that does feel bad. It feels bad for him. Okay, waste a step. so, two, two doors. This metal door with a lever, or morgue lab door. We'll try the one with the lever first, before going forwards, I think. Let's try the door, before we try the lever. No. Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't open from here. It doesn't open from here. Okay. Um, Let's see what you're hiding. Time to kill. Starion. Uh, no. Try and lockpick that. Let's just see if you can. Oh, 30. Okay. Guidance. Yes, definitely. What would you... You'd need to get really high, but it's possible. It's possible, so go for it. No. <laughs> ah, okay. 
Okay. Um, 52. I have 52. So I can do two more tries. See if he can roll high. Nope, not high enough. It was a good try though. A good try. And again. Still not high enough. Oof. 28, just two. Well, no, let's let's forget it then. Yeah, let's forget it. And we'll try this one then. That one doesn't open that door, then maybe that's the way out rather than the way in. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay. Can you... Yes, okay. Ah, okay, so this doesn't actually have... It doesn't actually have another way out. Okay, we might... Well, we're probably going to have to try and... Uh, continue rolling on that then. See if we can... Get a higher number. Gosh. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anyone home, though. But there is an elixir of hill giant strength and it's calling to me because it's the only bright thing around here. <laughs> okay. Well then. Can we turn on the candles? Yes, but they immediately turn off. Okay. Well, let's do a little bit of friendly looting. Bottle. Oh, over there. Perception. Ah, okay. There's a lever right there. Oh. Not sure if I should try it or not. Not sure if I should try it. Not yet, anyway. I want to take a circuit of the room first. shelves. Probably cold and congealed. Oof. <laughs> Probably is, yeah. But why would there be blood all over the shelves? What do they want the blood for? What do they want it for? Superior healing. That's not suspicious at all to just find. <laughs> Jar of congealed blood. Enjoy. Uh, read the blood bank log. Victim? Oh gosh. Live extraction? Oh my god. Corpse confiscated by Balthazar. My god, how long has Balthazar been around? The list continues for many pages. Quite the list of characters, but hardly my taste. Yeah. Our well. enemies are everywhere. I belong in darkness. Well, stay in darkness then. Stop standing up. Oh. Ah, there's a trap on that chest. Okay. Potion of greater healing. Nice. It's 
get into the middle now. Nothing in the burlap sack. Okay. Tissue and organ register. Kethrick promised the finest of specimens, yet Balthazar provides naught but dregs for my research. A spleen here, a finger there, an intact head if I'm lucky. That bloody necromancer has kept the finest cadavers for himself. I'll talk to my nephew. Whether he listens is another matter. His nephew. Okay, so this is another thorn then. Gosh. <laughs> Unless it was Balthazar's uncle. I doubt it though. I'm sure he would have said my nephew Balthazar. Surgeon's research notes. Okay. I discovered all too late that I was making things much harder on myself than necessary. There was no need for such complex chemical experimentation. No, foolish me. I ought to have turned to that which has already been perfected by nature. Fortunately, my research led me to the carapace of the carrion crawler, which contains a paralytic agent so powerful I must be quite cautious not to breathe it in during the refinement process, lest I fall asleep at my workbench. Okay. Oh, of course, there's no books in the books bookshelf. Why would there be? Okay, let's... Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Let's, let's go for the chest Please first. Speak. Let's go for the chest first. Just in case. Just in case anything bad happens. We get thrown into a fight or something. Uh, disarm the chest, please. It's only a 14. You should be fine. Okay, sweet. No problems. But it is still locked. Okay, <laughs> lock pick it please. Still got guidance, go for it. Should still be okay. Yep. Nice. Okay. Scroll of Darkness, very nice. 43 gold. And Eversight Ring. The wearer cannot be blinded. Okay. A scroll of darkness and a ring to let you see through darkness, is that? Yeah. Must be. Okay. Let's send some of this stuff to camp then. So I'll put that on. Yeah, I can always swap it out if I need to, but the immunity is blended. Potentially very good. I can't waste any more time. They're so giving it to me right now anyway. I assume it must be- ooh, there's a bucket I missed. Well, well, well. Didn't miss anything else, did I? Doesn't look like it. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, now, let's try this lever. Light on my feet. Oh, we missed a syringe. There we go. Okay, now we can try the lever. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Click and clunk. Oh. Okay. Is that this door opening then? No. We haven't locked ourselves in, have we? No. Okay. 
Well, that's... Well, it's been used. It's been used, so... Let's see if anything changed. Oh, that is so weird. Okay, the zombies um, got up and then deposited themselves again. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> How dare you? <sighs> okay. Ah, okay. There we go. So we needed to... We needed to use that lever first. And then this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Let me have a look here. Oh dear God. There is one corpse that actually stands out. The rest is just a sea of disgustingness. This has got to be a really nasty place to be. Could you imagine the smell? Could you imagine the smell? Ooh, there's a button right there. Hmm. Uh, let's pick up those. And I want to turn this on just to make sure. I want to see if it's actually going to be uh, noxious. And uh, flammable, really. Not going to explode. No. Good. Okay. Almost wish I had uh, I had Gail with me just in case this turns out to be an Arcana thing, but never mind. Ooh, let's check the caskets first before we get closer. Nothing at all. Okay, well. Well, well, well. Okay, let's let's do it then. Let's get closer to this absolute mess. Ooh! Chest! This definitely looks like a fly thing anyway if I want to get over there. I suppose I could try jumping down. But if I did, there'd be no way to get back up from there. No way. God, this is horrendous. Oh! There is a severed arm right there. <laughs> that does not look stable though. That doesn't look stable. Oh gosh, okay. I don't know, that looks hollow armor. Okay. I was gonna say, that looks like a, a trap down there. <laughs> that really looks like a trap. Come down and loot this body. And then, I don't know, zombies start piling out of the mass or something. Ugh. Okay, is that a climbable wall then? That is a climbable rock. Okay, so I could feather fall down and then climb my way back out. I could. Do I want to? <laughs> because the only way out again would be flying. But I'm really, I really don't like the look of this. I'm a little worried that it wants me to go all the way to the edge and then it'll just drop me from that. <laughs> That'll just shear off and it'll drop me. But I do want to go forwards. I do want to keep continuing forwards and see where this goes. That looks like a backpack. Uh, this might actually be an exit. Ah, this might be into the mausoleum itself. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't want to... Well, I suppose I could leave and check out some of the other places beforehand because this might just be another way into the mausoleum. I kind of don't want to leave. I <laughs> kind of want to figure it out first. Or I'll, I'll switch out. Maybe I'll switch out Astarion and get Gale or something. But 
I mean, we do have we do have Misty Whisper Step on most command. people. Maybe not you. Okay. No, she does. She has Misty Step. Okay. You have Misty Step. You have Dimension Door if you need it. So. I think she has Scroll with Misty Step, doesn't she? No. Thought she did, but she doesn't. Okay. Well. Let's see. Ready. Anyone else does? You. Yeah, you, you have the Misty Step spell, so you can give Shadowheart the scroll. Yeah. He has the Scroll of Dimension Door as well, and she has the spell, so if we do get caught over there, Waiting with bated breath. we should be able to get Free back either through Misty Step or Dimension Door. So yeah, we're not, we're not stuck. We're not stuck. Okay, well, I think I'll probably leave it here then. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.